In this video we're taking a closer look at my 40 gallon shallow reef, the soft coral aquarium that houses Peter the Arrow Crab and my 20 gallon frag tank. In the end we'll also take a look at my 10 gallon nano reef tank as a bonus. First up let me give you an update on my 20 gallon frag tank because we have to pack up all these corals here in a minute. I've sold them all. Someone decided to buy all of them. But before we start packing I want to show you some of my favorites. I really love the colors of this Montipora frag. The base is green and the polyps are red. It's such a vibrant piece. Another species I really like and are pretty easy to keep are these clove polyps. They kind of remind me of a nice firework explosion with their beautifully colored lashes. This week I did a tour of a fish store here in the Netherlands. As a thank you for touring their facility they gave me this awesome rainbow mushroom. I really really like it. We need to find a nice spot for it in my 40 gallon shallow reef. The tour of this crazy store will be posted next Thursday so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have the notification bell turned on. Because trust me, you really need to see this place. This aquarium is lit by a Castle A360X and runs a tons of powerhead for flow. I dose the basic reef supplements through a dosing pump like calcium and magnesium. Next to these tubes I have two mangrove plants. One of them has finally grown new leaves. Every time they had two they would just dry up and fall off. But one thing I find really weird about these mangrove plants is that the roots are covered with hair algae while the rest of the tank is pretty clean so do you know why this is? Alrighty I think it's time to start packing these corals. Luckily the person that bought all of these is coming over to pick them up so they don't require the usual packing method. It'll be a short trip for them so they should be doing fine in these cups when I place them in the styrofoam box. I need to get a bigger tank to put farm grown coral frags in because I can only keep about 100 of them in here. So if I get a bigger tank this means that we can now do something else with this aquarium so if you have any fun ideas let me know. We took quite a bit of water from the aquarium as you can see, but I'll make sure to fill it back up after we take a look at my other aquariums. Next up let's take a look at the soft coral aquarium. This tank has the same specs as the frag tank. It measures 65 by 45 by 30 centimeters in height and runs the exact same equipment. In this aquarium I keep all sorts of beginner corals, because soft corals mainly rely on nutrients and not so much on calcium and magnesium or super strong lighting, so this makes it pretty easy to take care of them. Most of these are also budget friendly and extremely fast growing. I really like the look of this tank. The main inhabitants of this reef are a pair of clownfish, which are over 10 years old and the most famous arrow crab in the world, Peter. His videos have been seen over 10 million times and as you might have seen in one of my YouTube shorts, Peter recently lost one of his legs. But fortunately I've been told that these regrow as he molts in the near future. While I was cleaning the glass yesterday I noticed a small stick like object in the sand next to these anemones. This seems to be Peter's lost leg. It's really close to the powerhead so it makes me wonder, did Peter's leg get ripped off by the powerhead? That would be horrible so I hope it's just a coincidence. Despite this, luckily Peter seems to be doing well. Speaking of anemones, take a look at all these stubborn glass anemones or aptasia. They are a common reef tank pest and can be super invasive, as it shows in my aquarium. I tried removing them or keeping them in check using some chemicals a few times, but this didn't seem to help much. I was planning on introducing some Bergia nudie branch, but they were out of stock again. They are really hard to get here. So once they become back available, we'll introduce a few of these so they can start feasting on these pests. Now check out this cool anemone. I also found one on the Christmas tree rock in the 40 gallon a while ago. I explained what they are in a video I did on that piece, so if you forgot or haven't watched it yet, make sure you check it out after this video. One of my favorite corals in this aquarium are these massive green palitoa or palitoa grandis. But these corals should be treated with great caution as they contain a ton of poison. Alright enough of this aquarium, let's take a look at my favorite and oldest aquarium, the 40 gallon shallow reef tank.
Measuring 120 by 45 by 30 centimeters, this aquarium seemed to be big enough when I bought it. But two years later I'm running into some, well, luxury problems. These corals are fighting for some real estate on the reef. They do this through coral warfare. They basically try and damage a neighboring coral in order to take the space and grow. I see this happening all throughout the reef. As I mentioned in earlier videos, the space invaded chalice has been growing super fast lately, causing it to get into a conflict with the Acropora, mushrooms and turbinaria coral next to it. So a few weeks ago I decided it was time for me to step in and settle this for once and for or the next few months. <laughs> because these corals are always growing and in need for some space. I was able to move the turbinaria a bit and remove the acro. This should give all the corals a bit more space for now. I put a small euphelia in the middle here, but something in the reef has been kicking corals off the rocks during the night. Over the past few days I found the Acropora on a different part of the reef, this Sivastrea was upside down, and this coral was also upside down on the sand. Can you guess the name of this coral? It was on my wish list for so long. I tried catching the culprit in the act by observing the tank during the night. And with success, because it ended up being an emerald crab who was looking for some food. With his powerful claws he was able to knock over some newly introduced or moved corals like the Acropora. So let's hope he won't destroy more of the reef and hopefully we can introduce the other corals that he knocked over back onto the reef rock soon. In my opinion this reef is doing fantastic. What do you think of this aquarium? Last week we introduced a few new corals to the Tengela Nano Reef which is set up in my brother's bedroom. Check out these awesome new corals. The elegance coral is massive and the clownfish seems to enjoy his new home. How should we name him? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.